Uh, hi everyone. So here we can see the deployment of both the lambdas. You can see now everything is getting created twice for the first lambda and for the second lambda. And here we can see the ARN of both the lambdas. And I mean it is being created using CloudFormation stack. This is this is how serverless is doing things. It actually checking your serverless YML, seeing okay these are the lambdas. Let's create a CloudFormation stack for it and then deploy these lambdas to the Node.js functions. Okay. Okay, so what next we are doing is uh, let's talk about the further configurations we have for Lambda. Those are like uh, how you can configure the VPC subnets, okay, and how you can give access to a particular resource for like you want to access, uh, you wanted to read a DynamoDB table, write a DynamoDB table, how we can give that particular access to your Lambda. Either you can give the access at the root level, like uh, the provider name, and here we can define the IAM, which is, let's say, role, and further, one tab space, and then we have statements. I can actually copy this from the template. Statements and then we have like effect which is you wanted to allow for particular resource and then action. Action can be on S3 bucket or a DynamoDB, right? Let's say I want to give you access for a particular actions. And here uh, I will do a Dynamo DB query. This is the permission I'm giving on what particular resource. So your resource can be like you are specifying that in this particular region, any particular Dynamo DB table, right? and then your function so what you are doing is you have given the dynamo db query uh, query uh, permission to these two functions using the serverless configurations similarly you can also write the do the same thing for the s3 here uh, role im statements what we will change is there can be one more statement i think if i am not wrong and what we can do here statements okay it can't be here like this then resource similarly you can actually give s3 list bucket right s3 put bucket get bucket list bucket these kind of actions you can give in the, the same way like role statements and because the permissions are divided in, like this only this is how we define the IAM policy right we define the effects, actions, the method name, and the resources, the ARN, right? Other configurations is like you can directly specify if you have already defined a role in your system, then, and you have ARN for that role, right? So you can specify the, the role directly here instead of specifying all these things. What it will help is you already have permissions defined for this role. Like you can do read, write on S3 and read, write on the Dynamo, that's it. So all the lambdas will get the, the same set of access using this. VPC configurations, I mean, we don't need to worry much about it, but yeah, VPC, you can actually good, uh, provide a security group IDs for a particular lambda. Let me give it a try. Here we have a VPC configurations. You can specify the security group IDs and the subnet IDs. This is how you can actually specify the, the VPC configurations for particular Lambda. Environment variable, which is really important, like uh, we have seen in the Lambda UI console, that there are some environment also you can pass. Like I want to just provide the bucket name, DynamoDB table name, or anything. In, in the node, just it can be anything, right? So function one, let's say I want to pass the environment. So environment table name. 
Similarly, the same set of environment can be passed or some different one to this particular lambda. This will also be populated in the environment section of a lambda. Right, you are actually passing this at the runtime. Okay, so environment configuration, PPC configurations, and all these things you can actually configure on this particular lambda. Okay, there are more things like asynchronous invocation of lambda where you can specify the destination on success, do this on failure, uh, use a particular topic name, and that topic name can be SQS SNS, right? So this is a function name and these are the destinations I have configured. That this is for asynchronous invocation of lambda where you wanted to execute something, right? On success of this lambda, do this. On failure, execute this particular topic, right? So target can be your other lambda, you can deploy a service or it can be like on the failure, you can address it with the SQS SNS. Uh, retry attempts, all these things, I mean, there are a lot of configurations you can add in the serverless, but this is what we can add. And there is another thing, I think, resources in which you can actually put the CloudFormation template. So, but minimal, this is what we will do, okay? So this is all about configuration of your serverless YML. And now we will move into more hands-on by writing an application which is doing read-write to the DynamoDB table.